for you, I think you have a, uh, an opportunity to be a huge voice growing up. Uh, I didn't always feel like there were voices for mental health uh, uh, for African Americans in general. Yeah. Uh, being a black guy mm -hmm. in the space, we don't, you know, we, we got to be tough. We right. got to push through everything. Life is thrown at us to, from an early age. Yes. You know what what you have to deal with and what you have to overcome. You overcome things that have nothing to do with you. Absolutely. Every <laughs> on day. A daily, on Absolutely. a daily basis. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. What do you feel like that does? Has that ever plagued you a little bit in a space where you feel like, hey, I needed to focus a little more to get through this? Mm -hmm. uh, the family that I had was, although I'm speaking highly about it, no one's perfect. Like, <laughs> and I have a sister that I go head to head with <laughs> that I've made it through our relationship, there's nothing in the world <laughs> that I can't face after dealing with Amber Clemens. <laughs> but honestly, um, I learned through my struggles how to resolve situations, um, how to speak if I'm feeling a certain way and how to listen if someone else is feeling a certain way and then how to implement the certain tools to make sure it never happens again to the best of my ability. Promise not to make a promise I can't keep I never do that to you so please don't do it.